Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your hosting or website builder and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add an admin or user into your hosting or website builder? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add an admin or an editor into your hosting or website builder anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you're going to work with web developers and assistants and you need to give them access to your website. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your hosting or web panel. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my hosting or account. Now this is the web panel. This is not the website builder. So once you've logged into your hosting or account in order to add an editor or access, what you're going to do is up here on the top right, you're going to click on this little person icon. Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to click on this button here called account sharing. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to be in the account sharing section and in order to add an editor or an admin, click on grant access right here. Once you do that, you're going to click on this purple button grant access. Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and give someone admin access to your website builder in hosting first, you're going to need to enter in their email address. Now make sure you use the correct email address because they will need to receive an invitation. And they're also going to need to accept that invitation. And that's going to all happen right through the email address. Next, you need to choose their access level. So manage access is generally what you're going to do. If it's some sort of a web developer or an assistant where they're going to be making purchases on your behalf through your hosting or account, you can go ahead and choose this, but more often than not, it's going to be this one manage services. And next you want to choose the services that you want them to be able to manage. So if you have your email, you're going to add in your email. If you just want them to have access to one particular project or one website, choose that website. So I only have one website through hosting or so I just have the service right here. Now, if you have any pending orders, you can go ahead and let them set up the pending orders. I don't have any, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. And then once you're ready, go ahead and click on grant access to send out the invitation via email. And let me jump on over to the email and show you what that looks like. Okay, I went ahead and opened up the email. This is what it looks like. So it's saying they have been invited to be an admin on my website through Hostinger. So they'll need to click on accept invitation and then create a user account in Hostinger. Once they do that, they will be able to make changes on my Hostinger website builder that we gave them access to. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to add an admin user into your Hostinger website builder, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.